Hey, you beautiful beings. Welcome to Empowered Human with Nina Garcia. I am your host, and you are listening to the throwback episodes. Yeah, I have officially taken a pause on creating new episodes for the podcast so that I can focus on writing the book. It became very clear that while I have loved doing the podcast, I'm getting these episodes out every week to you all piecemeal. I was like, no more, no more. You all were like, please, please. Please, can you get us all those skills and tools, Nina, in one area so that we can do the empowered human journey, so that we can really see what it's like from start to finish, to which I say, yes, absolutely. Let me get this to you. Yes. <laughs> so what you're going to be hearing is this. You're going to be hearing throwback episodes from all six seasons okay it's not going to be every episode so don't freak out on me yet but it is going to be some of the episodes that were highlighted that were popular that we think you know maybe you all missed and we want to bring it back you're going to be hearing throwback episodes and i am going to be listening along with you i too want to hear about the journey and experience the journey that I had as we moved from triggered can we play with that the original podcast all the way to empowered human with Nina Garcia so you're going to hear personal stories you're going to hear interviews you're going to be given skills in every episode yes you're going to be given tools in every episode for you to become skilled and it is totally up to you whether you want to listen if it's not the episode for you skip to the next week right you just take what works for you leave what doesn't. And if there's some stuff you're curious about, why don't you just go ahead and put that on the shelf? The podcast has always been about putting resources in the hands of people without needing to pay for it, right? And so this is no different. Even with these throwback episodes, what you're going to hear is this. We're going through, just as I said, you're going to still hear me talk at the beginning of each episode, letting you know, hey, we've had a transition. You're going to hear the original intro to the episode, you're going to hear the show music, and then you're going to hear the full original episode. This could mean that dates are off, that times are off, that people are talked about, that it may no longer be in our lives, right? Just be aware of that. <laughs> At the very end of the episode, you're going to see this face again come back to remind you that it was a throwback episode and to maybe offer you some adventure challenges as you move from week to week right though the format of the episode did change over the years that we've done this podcast the value is still there so if you like something definitely hit me up on instagram at drama therapist nina and be like nina i love that throwback episode about xyz thing yes fill in the blank with that let me know and if there's something that you're looking for in the meantime, also hit me up on Instagram at Drama Therapist Nina and let me know. Otherwise, stay curious and enjoy the ride, folks. I'll be right along there with you. Welcome to Empowered Human, the dramatically playful podcast that invites you to heal humanity, the one within you me in the world at large. I'm your host, drama therapist, empowerment specialist, and not to mention empowered human, Nina Garcia. And I'm so stoked you're joining me on the journey. Every Wednesday, you are invited to explore transforming from powered to empowered with genuinely human stories of courageous existence, healing from invalidation, and truly belonging to you. So wherever you are in the spectrum, from empowerment curious to empowered human ambassador, this podcast is designed to humanize. Get ready to lean into your edge, heal your worldview, and finally belong to you. This is Empowered Human. Hey everyone, so this episode references uh, the trigger continuum tool that we spoke about in episode one, uh, Know Thy Trigger in Continuum. So if you are a little bit lost, just head back to that episode, give it a listen to, it's 15 minutes, and you may understand a little bit more where we're coming from. Otherwise, here is a review of the triggering continuum. Uh, we are answering a audience question, and it is specifically related to the triggering continuum. And the question was, you know, Nina, I get uh, the one through five references. I understand how a continuum works. And yet I'm not really sure what that looks like for me. And so 
as I'm listening to that, I'm like, well, it sounds like we got to get to know ourselves, right? Which means that we've got to be willing to play with like rough emotions sometimes, y'all. And I hear you because I have heard it before and I know that I will hear it again. Nina, I can't play with these emotions. These emotions are not playable. That may be true. Maybe today they're not playable. Could they be tomorrow? Do you always want them to be not playable, right? So even that, I would hope, has a continuum. But but let me dial it back. Let me bring it back to this audience question, which is, how do I know my own continuum? Specifically related to, in this case, anxiety. So trigger continuum review. One through five. One is you get triggered by something, but it is so fleeting, the thought, feeling, or behavioral response that you probably don't even notice it. These are usually moments we take for granted, right? Step two, right? You're taking it up a notch. Something triggers you and it sits with you for a little bit longer, but it doesn't cause any dysfunction in your life. You can still do all the things that you normally did the way that you've usually done them, right? Bumping it up a notch to step three, right? So now we're moving out of the green zone, that one, two, nice green zone. A three is a yellow flag, friends. Yellow flag means, hmm, I should be paying attention and intervening now. A level three trigger causes dysfunction in your life. Now it's mild dysfunction. So for some of us, it's you know, I'm just having an anxious day. I'm just having a bad day. I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Uh, You know, I, I had a rough morning. And so usually when we find ourselves saying statements like that, like justifying why we're a little bit dysfunctional at work and our relationships, fill in the blank. It's because we're level three triggered in some way and we're yellow flagging. My invitation is for you to do something then. Figure out what it is you need to do to get yourself back in the green zone. Now, for a lot of us, we even take that yellow flag three for granted. We will go into a level four trigger. Sometimes also, it is not just a gentle ramping up as I am describing it. Sometimes it is literally one thing. It happens. It's there. And boom, you're level four, level five triggered right? We can't help this. And we'll talk more about that in another episode of how do you play with that regardless of where it is on the continuum. But to continue the review, level four is your orange flag. We often fly right by the orange flag when we're just like at red, which is five. A four orange flag causes like moderate dysfunction in your life. We've gone from mild yellow flag at three to moderate dysfunction in your life. It is a lot more consistent than a three. And when we move to five, that red flag, friends, you are already in crisis, okay? If you are red flagging, this is a big sign of you need to get some support now, whatever that means to you. Five is severe dysfunction in your life. It's wrecking your job. It's wrecking your relationship. It's wrecking your fill in the blank, right? Right severe dysfunction in your life. So again, now that you've reviewed this, now that you have a little bit more of an idea of a picture of what the metaphor of our green flag, yellow flag, orange and red looks like, if this isn't enough tools for you, I'm going to offer one more, my friends, in this episode. And it's checking in with your body because your body does not lie. And I have said it before to clients, and I know that I will end up saying it again and again. Your body doesn't lie. It knows what it feels. Now, is that feeling justified is a question that we're not going to answer in this episode, right? Because only you can know in that moment whether it is real or whether it is perceived, whether the threat that is is real or whether it is perceived in that present moment. I want you to lean into that moment. I want you to figure out As you are courageous and willing to lean into the emotions in that moment, what are you drawn to in that moment and what are you resistant to in that moment? That is your ticket to figuring out what is triggering you in that moment because so often something will trigger us in the moment, but it's triggering something from the past, right? 
It's bringing up not just the stuff in that moment, but all the times that this has happened, that it has cycled through in the past. And it may not even just be your past. It might be your parents' past, your ancestors' past, right? Y'all, this stuff can go back, which is why it is so important for us to know what is happening in our bodies and recognize when we are triggered. Because it is often not about just that moment. Again, as you are courageous enough to lean into that moment, what I want you to ask yourself is what are you drawn to and what are you resistant to? I'll tell you a little story. We'll get a a little example on this. True story. Uh, I was at a hotel for a conference. It was an all-day conference. It was long. It was a lot of sitting. At this point in time, I was not feeling well. I had woken up and I was definitely sick with something, but I was like, I am not missing out on this money. I'm getting myself to this conference and I'm going to pay attention and it's going to be good stuff. So not only am I working hard, thinking, learning this information, asking questions, sharing my knowledge when appropriate, I'm also uh, pumping at the time. Surprise, plot twist. So pumping literally uh, my breasts for breast milk. If you are triggered by this right now, definitely be curious about that. Right, I uh, had a new baby at the time and was like going to be like, I'm an all out mom, y'all. I'm going to get it done. So it did not matter where I was. If it was time to pump, it was time to pump. And so I'm pumping several times every two hours uh, to get as much milk as I can for my infant. I am here at this conference. I am talking. I'm doing all this stuff. I leave at the end of the day, y'all. I am exhausted. And I think, you know what? I am feeling it. I am at least at a two right now. I need to bring myself back down to a one because I'm also not feeling well, which it may lead me into three territory. Let me go ahead and put on some music. I put down my windows and I start to drive out of that parking lot. I pull up to the stop sign. I get my full stop on. No California rolling here. I see a car coming out of the side of my eye, but I'm like, you know, they have a stop sign too. I'm not so worried about it. So I push on the gas slowly. I start to go through and I recognize this car is not slowing down. So I push on my brakes and they start to roll through and I honk. I let them know, hey, yo, there's a stop sign there. Hey, just a reminder. It wasn't a rude honk at this point. It was just like a, hey, notification honk. So again, at this point, we already know that I'm at about a two. Homeboy in his car. California rolls straight up through this stop sign, does not care that I have honked, that I'm in the middle of the intersection, just continues to drive through, and has the audacity after I honk to, I kid you not, brush his shoulder off like he was brushing me off. Can you hear the aggravation in my voice? Can you imagine at this moment how triggered I was? Now, let me tell you, in that moment, I knew that I was beyond level three, probably level four triggered. Because not only was I feeling if I leaned into that moment, just like I'm asking you to lean into your moment, I was feeling intense anger disrespect. And when he kept going and brushed me off, I was feeling utter rage. This is how I know I had tripped into the level five triggered. The thoughts from the past, remember, if I lean into what was I drawn to, what was I resistant to, I was highly resistant and offended to the fact that he had brushed me off. And I was drawn in to the fact that he had a local, we have the rice owls locally. He had that sticker on his car. And the narrative that popped up because I leaned in and paid attention, narrative that popped up was he thinks he's better than me. That's what this kid thinks. He thinks he's better than me. Trying to show off for his friends in the car, right? Now, this is level five triggered Nina, y'all still human, I straight up began to respond, level five triggered Nina, foot to the gas pedal, right up behind this guy, honking my horn. I was so 
livid. I look like a straight up crazy person. We ain't even going to try to deny it. We're not going to try to validate it. Yes, he brushed me off. Yes, he was he crossed dangerously into this intersection. And because I was level five triggered, absolutely dysfunctional. Look like a crazy person. If a cop had been watching this, I absolutely 110 percent would have gotten a ticket. A hundred percent. Not even going to try to validate it. You know what I can validate? The anger I was feeling. The rage that I was feeling. And it honestly wasn't about that kid who did not know me, who I didn't know. It really didn't matter if maybe he did think he was better than me. In that moment, there was no possible way that I could have known. My body had hijacked me. My emotions had hijacked me. And it didn't matter if that kid really had it in for me. He was like, oh, I'm going to piss this woman off. I'm going to run through this stop sign. I'm going to want her to just really go after me. That's probably not what he was saying. But even if he was, it wouldn't have mattered because my body knew what story it wanted. And it was rage. That was what it leaned into, what it was drawn to in that moment. So all this to say, nothing happened at the end of the story. They ended up pulling over into a parking lot. I am positive uh, that I probably freaked them out. For this, to all the people who have had someone like this behind them, I am sorry. I apologize for my level five trigger. And I also give myself a little grace because I know in that moment I didn't hurt them and it didn't hurt myself. But I would never have wanted my child to see me in that moment. And the part of me that knows who I am would never have have said, hey, let's respond in this way. This is what happens when we are triggered in the red zone, right? So I hope that as you take my story and are able to hopefully lean into your own feelings, your own trigger continuum, and explore what does it mean for you to be in the green zone, the yellow, the orange, the red, and how are you going to recognize that in that moment, it is probably not about that moment. For me, it certainly wasn't. It was about all the times that I had been disrespected period, right? Uh, as a woman, period, came up, right, when I analyzed this after the fact, uh, that he was a young kid, that he was at Rice, um, that he, right, and these are the stories again, uh, was probably entitled. This is what immediately in that moment was coming up for me. And y'all, this happens in a split second. This isn't something that's like, oh, let me think about why I'm so triggered in this moment. We have to know what the triggers are before we go into this moment so that we can get out of it quicker, right? Doesn't mean you're never going to be triggered. It means you can get out of it quicker with a little more grace and a lot more effectively. It will be a lot shorter and your time between being triggered will be a lot longer. So I want you to be curious and use this tool to your advantage. What does it mean for your trigger continuum to look like Right? What does it mean to you? What does it look like? What's your green, yellow, your orange, your red? And what are you going to do about it? So, I feel very intense in this moment. I'm noticing a lot of warmth in my upper back, my neck, and uh, my face. So if you are also remembering times, and this has triggered some memories in you, take an inhale with me. And an exhale out. Try to make it a little bit longer than your inhale was. These things matter. How you feel matters. So know yourself and empower yourself to live a little bit more intentionally than you did yesterday. Thanks for being human with me. I'll see you in the next episode. It's me again, reminding you that this was a throwback episode. I hope that you were able to take something from it, even one little nugget of wisdom, and use that between this week and next week, right? 
the purpose of these episodes is to give you tools. It is up to you to decide whether you want to become skilled in them. You picking up what I'm putting down? So take a tool, take something, a perspective, a moment, something that works for you and use it in your life to transform hard conversations into teachable moments, to transform the way that you play with scary moments, right? To transform your life, to help make you the most courageous, most healing oriented, most belonging person, <laughs> right? No matter where you go, that you belong to yourself everywhere you go, right? Courage, healing, belonging, whatever it is that you are taking from this episode, take it with you so that you can get out there and live your most vibrant life, you beautiful human being, okay? All right, I'm, I'm signing off for now, but you know, I'm gonna see you soon, okay? I'm gonna see you real soon. Bye for now. Thank you so much for being willing to explore healing your humanity on Empowered Human. I hope you found at least one new way to transform your worldview from powered to empowered. If you took something from the show, please take a moment of your time and subscribe to Empowered Human. And if it really nourished you, leave us a review. Your feedback helps me understand what our community needs. Not to mention, it helps others discover the Empowered Human life. So keep this last bit in mind. All the visual goodies come with me on Instagram at Drama Therapist Nina. Stay up to date there on upcoming episodes, behind the scenes goodness, and reels dropping knowledge. Thank you again for being part of the empowered human community. Until next time, stay curious.